Okay, so in this video, we will discuss the inverse of a matrix. So we take a square matrix A. We say that A is invertible if there exists a square matrix B of the same size, such that A times B equals B times A equals I, the identity matrix of the same size. If B exists, we call B the inverse of A, and we usually write B equals A to the negative 1 power. Now, not every matrix is invertible, and so if a square matrix is not invertible, we say it is a singular matrix. And the concept of invertibility only applies to square matrices. Let's consider an example of what an inverse may be in the case of 2 by 2 matrices. So here's a simple example. Suppose we take the matrix 1, 2, 3, 4. Then I claim the inverse of this matrix, so you write A inverse, equals 1 half of negative 4, 2, 3, negative 1. This is our matrix B. The matrix that we claim is the inverse of A. Well, let's check that A times B equals I, and that B times A also equals I. So let's compute AB, so A times A inverse. So 1, 2, 3, 4 times A inverse, or at least what we claim now to be A inverse, negative 4, 2, negative 1. Now here you have two options. You could multiply this matrix by 1 half and then perform the matrix multiplication, but you can do better. As 1 half is a scalar multiple, it can be moved up front of the multiplication. And this will simplify your calculations. So we'll be left with 1 half times the matrix 1, 2, 3, 4 times the matrix negative 4, 2, 3, negative 1. Let's multiply out, so construct the first row by fixing the first row of the first matrix. We'll get negative 4 plus 6, positive 2, positive 2 minus 2, 0. Then the second row, we'll get negative 12 plus 12, 0, 6 minus 4, 2. And if you multiply every entry of this matrix by 1 half, you get, of course, the identity matrix. So indeed, A times B equals I. So the matrix B cancels from the right the matrix A. Let's check the other direction, that A inverse times A, that B times A also equals I. Now here the scalar multiple of 1 half is already up front, so we can right away perform the matrix multiplication. So we get 1 half, first row, negative 4 plus 6, positive 2, negative 8 plus 8, 0, second row, 3 minus 3, 0, 6 minus 2, positive 2, and once again, if we multiply the entries of this matrix by 1 half, we are left with 1, 0, 0, 1 which is equal to i. And so check. This matrix is indeed the inverse of this one, as the product in both directions gives us the 2 by 2 identity matrix. Now, this is just a little remark. This is not obvious, and this is something we'll prove later on, but it's enough to verify one direction. So if you have two square matrices, A and B, and if A times B equals I, automatically the implication is that B times A will also equal I. And think of why this is not obvious, because we know in general multiplication does not commute, and so A times B is not always equal to B times A. But 
if the product of a and b is i, the product of b and a will automatically be i. And the same goes for the other direction, obviously. If b times a is i, automatically the implication is that a times b will also be equal to i. So when checking for whether or not a matrix is the inverse of another, it's enough to perform just one multiplication. If you prove that a times b equals i, automatically b times a equals i, and so b is the inverse of a. If you prove in the other direction that b times a equals i, then automatically a times b will also be equal to i, which proves that once again b is the inverse of a. I'm using the word the for inverse as the inverse is unique. There's only one. If it does exist, there's only one inverse. This is something we'll prove later on. You may ask a question now, is where is this matrix coming from, right? How did I find this matrix in the first place? Let's look at a very simple but very useful result for the inverse of a 2x2 two two matrix. This will be a little theorem which will prove very easily. So consider A to be a 2x2 two two matrix, say A, B, C, D. There are two parts to the result. Part 1, when is this matrix invertible? So A inverse exists if and only if A times D minus B times C is not equal to 0. That's the first step. So if you have a 2x2 two two matrix, you first compute AD minus BC. If the result is not 0, A inverse exists. If the result is 0, A inverse does not exist. Part 2, well, okay, if this is non-zero, A inverse exists, and what is A inverse? So if AD minus BC is not 0, then the claim is that A inverse is quite simply 1 over AD minus BC times, here's how it works. You flip two entries on the main diagonal, so AD becomes DA, and you negate the entries off the main diagonal, negative B, negative C. And that's it. This is a beautiful result. If AD minus BC is not zero, A is invertible, otherwise A is singular, and if AD minus BC is not zero, A inverse is quite simply one over AD minus BC. Flip the diagonal entries, negate the other two entries. Let's prove this. And once again, the proof will be to multiply the two matrices. This matrix is the inverse of A if their product gives us the identity matrix. And again, we can multiply either a times A inverse or A inverse times A. We'll do A inverse times A as we'll already have the scalar multiple in front of the matrix multiplication. And let's see if we get I. So what we claim is A inverse 1 over AD minus BC times DA negative B negative C times the matrix A, A, B, C, D. We're going to leave the scalar multiple up front, so 1 over A, D minus B, C, times, first row, D times A minus B times C, so that's A, D minus B, C. Second entry, D, B minus B, D, that's equal to 0. Second row, negative A, C plus A, C, is equal to 0. Negative BC plus AD, that's just AD, minus BC. And once again, if you multiply every entry of this matrix by 1 over AD minus BC, you are left with the 2 by 2 identity matrix. And this proves that indeed, this matrix is rightfully the inverse of A, as the product gives us the identity matrix. Let's do one more example. So 
So if we consider the following 2 by 2 matrix, say 5, 1, 4, 2, we'll do two more examples. Then we first look at, is this matrix invertible? Well, we compute AD minus BC. That's 5 times 2, 10, minus 4 times 1, 4, which is 6. This is not 0, so the matrix is invertible. And A inverse is quite simply 1 over AD minus BC, 1 over 6. Flip 5 and 2, you get 2 and 5. And negate 4 and 1, you get negative 1, negative 4. And that's it. I will leave it up to you to check that the result is true. Multiply this matrix times this one, and you will get I. One last example. What if A was equal to, say, 5, 2, 10, 1? Is this matrix invertible or singular? Well, compute AD minus BC. The result will be 5 times 2, 10, minus 10 times 1, 10, which is 0. Therefore, this matrix is not invertible, so we say it is singular. The inverse of this matrix does not exist. And that does it. So for 2x2 two two matrices, this is the holy grail. When you figure out if A is invertible, and if it is, here's how you find the inverse. You may ask, well, what about finding the inverse possibly of a 3x3 three three matrix or 4x4 four four or larger? And this will be the topic of our next video. How to find systematically the inverse of any square matrix.